So recently I was in Philly, and you may have seen the live stream from Philly. I was there with Steve for Philly Brickfest 2019. It was a great time, lots of builds, and some exciting news from that. If you didn't see or I didn't mention it, and I don't know if I did. Well, we get two of these, and what are these? So originally, these are Golden Rockies. They are, their theme of the year was this year was movies. So instead of the original Rocky, which was a gray Rocky, just a stone statue, these were made in like a green, um, Oscar, Grammy, what are these called? Well, we got them anyway. It was Oscars. Oscars, thank yeah. you, cameraman. Well, I, you didn't know if you were asking me. I was. <laughs> Well, the behind the scenes Drew there is giving me the answer. These are Oscars. I think that's what he just said. They're and Oscars. they're Roscars. <laughs> well, we have two of them. And one is for Best Collaboration Display. So this was for the Lego Zoo that I've been talking about. You've seen the videos that me and Drew have filmed about the zoo, the animal enclosures. Well, I had the whole exhibit, and I will get it back together at one point, and you can see it. I am going to rebuild it. Uh, make it more structurally sound because it was really tricky bringing Brett back here. But everything worked and the judges went around looking at everybody's displays and they had different categories, best town, best animal, I can't think of all the categories right now. And one of them was best collaborative. So someone liked my zoo and he's like, well what category do you fit in? So he asked me, did Steve help you with this? I'm like, well he's been building the front lawn area, the all of the detail in the front since we've been here, so I guess he, yeah, he helped. I said, I said 10%, he said 15 to 20%, I think he's still about 10. He did the, he did the rock work and the patio part to, in the front of the zoo. So he said, well, it's a collaborative then. So we went to enter the collaborative, there were many other collaboratives there as well. And we won, so we got best collaborative spread, I can't talk today, best collaborative display. And thank you, Steve, for assisting in your... 12%? We'll give you 12. How's that? 12%. <laughs> and during the show, they have all kinds of contests, challenges. If you're an exhibitor there and you're spending the four days there, you get to do all kinds of fun stuff and games and challenges, and you win prizes. And one of them was a microscale build, and they said space theme. So I built this really cool microscale, and you'll see a picture of that. And it was fun, and I designed it. I had on the, I'm like, you know what? I wasn't thinking of entering this, but they have a microscale category. Why not put it on the table with a little, give it a name? called the Space Mining, or the Mining Space, or something, Microscale Space Mining City, and I put it on the table, and I had won in the contest, I think, second place for the creation, and Steve didn't win, but he made a little Star Trek Enterprise, and we put them together on the table, and someone noticed that and mo nominated it, and we won for Microscale, so I guess I have to give Steve a, a shout out for that too. I do end up having both of the trophies here, so... He was nice enough to let me keep them. I appreciate that. And this was really cool. I had, hadn't won any awards there before in the other previous shows. I've been there. This is the fourth year, but third year actually just playing stuff. Really fun. And if you're ever in the Philly area at that time of year, sometime in April, they could change it for next year. I'm not sure. But it's fun to go either as an attendee and seeing all the cool creations or as an exhibitor and creating something of your own, bringing your own mock there and maybe entering one of the categories and getting it nominated and you could win as well. So I get these two in these cool poses here. We have the one with the champion and the other one looking really strong and you know, he's, he's defending defending the city or whatever he's defending there. So really cool, really fun. I hope you enjoyed a little talk about these Rockies. They built these themselves. They have butts in the back. That's weird. This one has one. No, there's like a couple pieces missing on some of them, but I didn't design them. They seem to be pretty sturdy. I haven't broken them yet. If they do, I'm in trouble because there's no instructions for these. But thanks to everybody that nominated and, and voted for me, because there was a whole voting process, and somehow I still stuck it out and won those. I appreciate it. Thank you to Philly Brickfest. Thank you to AC Pin. You might know AC Pin because he's the one who has some flower displays on display at the Lego House in Billund, Denmark, which is really cool. He does these elaborate flowers. So thank you, AC Pin, and everybody else at Philly Brickfest. And thanks for watching this show. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram and YouTube and Twitter and Facebook at Built From Bricks, as well as our monthly live stream, which is at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the third Thursday of each month. I must forgot when I filmed. It's been a while. Thanks for watching. What have you built today?
I can't sing, can I? That's horrible. <laughs> I've tried to do the Rocky theme. Are you talking to them or me? It's the camera. Okay. <laughs> Not anymore. Now I'm talking to you. Oh, Alright, try it I again. I was talking to the Sorry. camera. Try it again.